Hey guys, Nick here. So I'm back on YouTube. I know I've been MIA for a few weeks. My apologies. I've just been, uh, I want to say it's been getting hectic, but I'm just going to say <laughs> I've been slacking a little bit. Um, but I've been trying to, trying to keep up. I saw a few comments on videos you guys requested. So I'm going to do this one real quick for, um, Gordon Foods on YouTube. I know you've asked me a few questions before. Um, and then I think this one that you just asked is pretty good. So I decided to make a video because I think there's something that you've got to be careful with when you're, when you're filtering for blanks, which is what you asked to see. So how do you filter for blanks in a table? So something, this, this table I just created, which is our example data. And I'm going to try to show you guys why I think it's important to pay attention to what you're working with. Um, because there's a caveat to how you filter for blanks, right? So if you look at this table, I've got just an ID column with a value column. And you'll see there's some of these value columns that look like they're missing. And then some that are missing, but they don't have the red question mark that delineates a missing value, right? So a missing value is delineated by this red question mark. If I hover over the question mark, it says missing value, right? But in for ID A, the value is obviously not there, right? There is no value, but it doesn't show a red question mark. So one could say that this is a missing value, but it's actually not a missing value because a missing value registers and is designated by the red question mark. So what this is, or what this could be, is there's some type of special character and in this case, I created the table so I can tell you the special character is just a blank space, All right? So I can show you how to filter for blanks, um, but the way we set that up, if we're not accounting for these blank spaces versus a true missing value, the way we set that up won't give us the exact results we want because what we're really looking for here is to filter all of these out, right? We know this isn't a true value. We know this isn't a true value either. And then we know these are missing values. So we want to filter all of these out together. So to do that, we've got to be careful because these aren't the same things. All right. So let's get started. That's enough talk for now. So what we're going to do is we're going to look for the rule based row filter. We'll double click to connect it. And we're going to adjust our node note. And we're going to say missing values. Let me adjust this comment. We'll go to size 13 and then we'll double click to configure this. So what we're going to do is we're going to erase everything here and we're going to say double click on the value column and we're going to say missing. So let me actually add a space here and we'll double click on the missing value. So missing this value, set it to true. So if the value is missing, set the, set the row to true. And then we're going to say for all rows that are true, we're going to include them, right? Or actually let's exclude them. Let's exclude them. We want to filter them out. We won't exclude them. What we'll do is we're just going to say not missing. So if it's not missing the value, set it to true and only include the true matches. That way we filter out the missing, All right? So we'll hit apply one more time. <laughs> I might've confused you. So if it's not missing the value, then set the row to true and only include the true matches in the output. So we're going to basically, we're essentially filtering out if it's missing this value. So hit apply, hit okay, hit F seven to execute. And then we can look at our output table and now I'm sure you can see it already, but I'm just going to zoom in a bit. So now our value fields still show these blanks, right? That's because they're truly not missing values. So to catch these blanks, we've got to hit, we've got to hit the rule with what this really is. And this is a blank space. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back in and we're going to say not missing value and not value equal to a blank space. 
So then we'll hit apply, we'll hit OK, we'll hit OK, and now we can hit F7 to execute or right click and execute. And let's look at our output table now. So now you can see we've successfully filtered out for blank values as well as missing values. So the syntax for that is not missing and then the column that you're referencing as well as or and not where the value is equal to this blank space. All right? So keep that in mind when you're filtering out for blanks because that will affect your results. And as you can see, we can compare that to that. This is a true blank. This is a missing value. We filtered both out using the rule-based row filter. If you guys have any questions or if you need me to clarify, I know I was running in circles a bit, um, but if you need me to clarify, just ask in the comments and I'll do my best to take my time <laughs> and fully explain it there. Um, but if not, drop a comment and let me know what kind of videos you want to see next or what you need help on. Uh, thanks Gordon Foods for asking the question. I like when you guys are brave and you guys ask because then it gives me content to put together for you guys. Um, so anyways, I'll catch you guys on the next video.